Hello students. In this lecture, we will discuss switching activity reduction. For the discussion of this topic, I am taking a book of low power VLSI design by Gary L. Now, what is the mean of switching activity? We know that there are the two type of power dissipation in the circuitry. One is known as uh, dynamic power dissipation and the second one is known as static power dissipation. The dynamic power dissipation is again classified into two types. One is known as switching power dissipation and another one is known as short circuit power dissipation. Now the first type that is switching power dissipation how uh, the power is dissipated in a switching and what is switching we know that in any sim, uh, in any circuitry uh, if we implement the circuitry by uh, by using cmos logic so in cmos logic there are the two type of transistor that we used one is nmos and one is pmos the pmos circuitry the pmos transistor works the pmos transistor operates when the input voltage is less than the threshold voltage of pmos and nmos circuitry nmos transistor works when the input voltage is higher than the threshold voltage of nmos okay now when input voltage is less than threshold voltage of PMOS, so PMOS works and at that time the, the capacitor that is connected in the load side of CMOS circuit is charged and it is charged with the full voltage of, uh, full voltage of the CMOS supply, see, uh, full voltage of CMOS supply. But when the but when the input voltage is higher than the threshold voltage of NMOS, at that time the NMOS operates and it creates a short circuit path to discharge the capacitor. So in second condition, the capacitor will discharge. Okay. So because of this charging and discharging of capacitor because of this switching of capacitor some power is dissipated some power is dissipated and this power is known as switching power dissipation and this one is the main reason to uh, this one is the main reason uh, for the power dissipation in any CMOS circuitry okay there are the several type of switching activity occur in the circuitry. Suppose if we are uh, uh, suppose if we are dealing with uh, a digital circuitry, so we know that in digital circuitry the input is in the form of digital. It means that input is zero or the input is one because the circuitry works on the digital input. So when uh, so when we provide zero one zero one combination, so uh, the circuitry continues switched from the, so the switching activity continuously occur in the circuitry because the input is continuously switched okay so we uh, we cannot we cannot reduce this uh, we cannot uh, reduce this switching activity because if we reduce this switching activity at that time so definitely we can't get the correct output from the circuitry okay but suppose we are uh, we are having a um, computational circuit we are uh, having a computational circuit in that various type of adder subtractor multiplex uh, multiplier are mounted but if in some case if in some case we not need any multiplier output so what we can do at that time we can we can at that time we can adjust the input of the multiplier with any arbitrary value because it not affects the output of the circuitry
okay so by by fixing by setting this input at that time we can adjust the switching because at that time multiplier is not in working at that time we not need the output of multiplier so we can control the input of multiplier so if we control the input of if we adjust the input of multiplier at that time so we can reduce the switching activity in multiplier so by you by adjusting by managing this uh, uh, switching activity in the input side of multiplier we can we can increase the performance of the circuitry okay but uh, for for this operation we need to uh, we need to connect several circuitry inside the circuit and and when we use some extra circuit for managing the input for taking uh, for managing this uh, input of the multiplier so uh, definitely that extra circuit needs some power so because adding this some uh, because adding this circuit some uh, the power consumption of the circuit will increased okay so therefore it is very important to estimate how many switching activity can be eliminated by a particular technique so that it can be justified okay so uh, there are the various techniques so there are various techniques that can be used to uh, restrict this switching activities okay some of these techniques are some of these techniques are first one the guarded evaluation first one is the guarded evaluation in this guarded evaluation technique we use some latches or we can say we use some blocking gates in the input side of the module if we don't need the output from that module okay in other uh, in other language we can say uh, we are guarding a input we are guarding a input or we can say uh, we are restricting a input okay you can understand this guarded evaluation by using this diagram this one is the multiplier circuit and this one is the uh, multiplexer circuit according to the condition according to the condition we are getting the output either a either the combination or either the output of multiplier okay so in the guarded evaluation in the guarded evaluation we are uh, we can control this input b and c we can control this input b and c how can we control this b and uh, input b and c we um, we uh, in that time we will not provide this input directly to the multiplier we will provide this input with the help of latch and this latch will controlled by some condition okay suppose when we need the uh, when we need in the output side only a at that time we will provide zero here at that time we will provide zero here so if we, if we will provide zero here so definitely this switching of input this switching of input not uh, this switching of input not uh, affects the circuit output of the circuitry okay this switching not affects the multiplier it means that uh, if we provide zero so uh, the multiplier circuit will not get the input and if it not get the input so there is no operation occur in the multiplier and definitely this will increase the performance 
okay and when we when we provide this when we provide in the output side the multiplier of input b and c at that time we will provide one here same as when we will provide one here and when we provide one here so uh, the output of the latch will provide as an input to the multiplier and according to the uh, value of b and c the multiplier provide the output and we will get the output from this multiplexer we will provide this output in the output side of the multiplexer okay so we can say in the guarded evolution we will uh, we will guarding the input we will guarding the input if we not if we not require this b and c so we uh, we will restrict the this input uh, to provide in the circuitry we will restrict this input and if we want this sir if we want uh, this um, input b and c so at that time uh, at that time uh, some uh, according to the condition at, at that time according to the condition uh, this input will pass from the latch and provided as an input to the multiplier okay the next condition to avoid the switching is the bus multiplexing okay here in the diagram we can see uh, the two buses are uh, uh, the two buses are mentioned here this s is the data source and this d is the destination s is the source d is the destination two sources here two destinations here and between source and destination some uh, path is some buses is mentioned here drawn here okay so uh, we can we can share in uh, bus multiplexing by using the multiplexing we uh, we will try to share this bus so instead of using two different buses we will use uh, the sing we will use a single bus and by uh, by using the concept of multiplexing uh, we can we can route this source s1 with to the uh, destination d1 and this source s2 to the destination d2 okay so what we will do we are we are doing uh, what we are doing we are doing uh, a multiplexing in the buses uh, so by by using this multiplexing by using this multiplexing we can increase the performance Okay, but uh, but when this input uh, when the inputs uh, that is provided from the source when the input that is provided from this source from this source are are not correlated are not correlated with each other at that time at that time this type of circuitry is not very much not uh, not play a very good role in the circuitry because we know that uh, there is a term that is known as correlation of the data signals we are taking a distal signal here we are taking a distal signal here so we know that in the distal communication we already studied in the distal communication that when we increase the sampling rate so um, because increasing the sampling rate there is a, a small difference uh, between the two consecutive sam samples so it means that the um, neighbor sam samples are almost same if the neighbor samples are almost same so uh, only a small uh, so um, uh, so the switching activity will reduced because the neighbor samples are very much same okay so if we increase the sampling rate so automatically by increasing the sampling rate uh, the the by increasing the sampling rate the correlation of the data sample will increase and it will reduce the switching okay so it will uh, so if we reduce the switching so automatically the power if uh, power efficiency will increases okay however if the data buses is shared as we mentioned in the diagram if the data bus is shared 
by using bus multiplexing so this correlation is often lost because the shared bus carries the data sample from two uncorrelated data sources okay one is s1 and another one is the s2 there are the two different uh, different sources and the data uh, and the symbols and or we can say the data uh, uh, by uh, for um, the data that is transmitted from s1 and the data that is transmitted from s2 are not correlated so because of this because of this uncorrelation data because of this uncorrelated data thus the performance will restricted okay so uh, one graph is mentioned here it is made for the comparison of switching activity of sh shared bus and the switching activity of dedicated bus okay so this graph is uh, represent the switching activity by uh, by dedicated bus and this one is represented the switching activity by uh, a shared bus Okay. the third way the third way to reduce the switching the third way to increase the performance is glitch reduction and how can we re reduce this glitch we can reduce this glitch by using pipelining now first of all what is the mean of glitch glitch is nothing but a unwanted fluctuation unwanted spike that we that we get in the output side of the circuit due to the unwanted switching activity okay we know that when input is switched so accordingly def, accordingly the output will also switched but, but if unwanted switching activity will occur in the input side so definitely because of that some glitches some unwanted switching occurred in the output side and that unwanted switching is known as glitches okay and this glitches and this glitches is depends on the logic depth of the node now what is the mean of logic depth of the node the logic depth of the node means the number of logic gate from the node to a primary input okay so because of this number of logic gate that we used in the input side the uh, the glitches will increase because all the logic gates will have different uh, transition delay different propagation delay and because of this different propagation delay of each and every uh, logic gates uh, definitely some glitches will occur in the output side so uh, we need to we need to minimize these glitches how can we minimize these glitches we can minimize these glitches by using by using some pipelining by using some pipelining in the input side of the device so instead of using so instead of using this logic gate if we will use instead of using this logic gate if we will use the pipeline resistor so automatically the glitches that we got in the, that we will get in the output side of the circuit will reduced okay so this one is all about so this one is all about the switching activity reduction okay so what we uh, what we discussed here we discussed three different techniques that used to reduce the switching activities first one is the guarded evaluation second one is the but bus multiplexing and the last one is the glitch reduction by using pipelining so instead in uh, what we will do uh, what we are doing in um, uh, glitching reduction by pipelining here we are using a pipeline register in the input side instead of using the logic gate instead of using the logic gate that works on in different propagation delay okay so when we uh, connect the pipeline in register so the glitches will reduced okay so this one is all about the theoretical portion of switching activity reduction 
in next lecture we will discuss some other topic thank you